Barbados has many things to offer. You know the people in West Vero love her and keep on doing what you're doing. We are proud of you and you know we love you, Riri. I've been here on three occasions. This is my fourth occasion. This is, in my opinion, one of the hidden gems in Barbados. Tell me what's beautiful about this country? It's nice and warm. People are very friendly. Uh -huh. And I feel safe here. So this was swimming this morning in the sea just over here. And you capture it. And by later on tonight, yeah, this is going to be on the grill. It's going to be tasting sweet. Good morning all, this is Wendell Daniel from the Bajan Roadrunner channel coming to you live and direct from central London on this freezing cold, wet day and it's so cold. Just look at the steam coming out of my mouth but earlier on this morning it was snowing and can you believe we've gone from snow to rain in literally a couple of hours. The park is meant to be green, but it is white. It is white because it's been snowing. The Bajan Roadrunner Channel was out there in the snow suggesting six reasons of why you should be booking a holiday in Barbados to get some extra heat. But that's what I'm going to do now. The first recommendation I'm going to make, and it's in no particular order, and it's cultural tourism. Those of you who love your music, who love your rhythm and blues will know that in Barbados we have our cultural icon and she's the queen of Barbados and her name is Robin Rihanna Fenty. Whose house is that? It's Rihanna's house. Who? Who's Rihanna? Oh wow, a world, a world superstar. World <laughs> Welcome to Rihanna Drive, my home my whole life was shaped on this very road. I was just a little island girl. But tell me something, yeah? Being in front of Rihanna's childhood home, how does it make you feel? Very humble. You feel humble? Yeah. Right. We also got tours that you can go on throughout Barbados. There's many, there's hundreds you can go on. But my personal recommendation is a tour of St. Nicholas Abbey. I've been here on three occasions. This is my fourth occasion. This is, in my opinion, one of the hidden gems in Barbados. Thank you very much, man. And how long have you been open there? Uh, we bought it in 2006. We opened our doors in 2007. Oh, all right. no, it's an amazing place. That's why I come back. But one last question. The train line, when yeah. does that open up? Uh, you can go online on our website. Um, it's, our website is www.snahr, so uh -huh. Nicholas Abbey Heritage Railway. Uh -huh. com. Second recommendation to you in regards to why you should go to Barbados is because of the sun, the sea, and the sand. know about the sun, the sea and the sand in Barbados. Pardon? I recognise that flag. 
Can you believe this, ladies and gentlemen? This man has just said he reckon. What flag is it? It's Barbados, of course. How do you know that? I've been there loads of times. No, yeah, I don't yeah, believe yeah. you. Loads of times. I've lost count of the amount of times. Oh, I've you've been, been there. serious? Seriously? Yeah, yeah. My favourite place in the world. Oh, um, hey, you, you won't believe this. I'm just making a program, yeah, for Barbados. And I'm going to stop what I'm just looking at the camera. I'm going to yeah. stop what I'm doing now. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to interview you. If, but, sorry, I'm being rude. What's your name? My name's Jason. Jason. And where are you from? Me, London. Oh, no. my word. Oh, my word. This is the Bayesian Roadrunner channel coming to you live and direct from Piccadilly Circus. And this young, young gentleman here, this young gentleman has just walked by. He recognised the flag, but it's actually my scarf and he has told me that he has been to Barbados on many occasions so I'm now going to interview him and we'll get some information that you will find interesting. So, me, you, you've mentioned the sea. Tell me more about those warm, blue, crystal clear sea water. Tell me more about it. Beautiful, crystal clear, you stand in it up to your waist and you can see your feet. Uh -huh. Absolutely amazing, lovely, uh -huh. clean, uh -huh. the beaches are pristine, they're kept wonderful, uh -huh. absolutely phenomenal. So tell me something Jason, when you go to Barbados, what location do you normally go to? The Gap. The Gap, St Lawrence Gap, the Gap. So where are we now Harry? Um, this is um, What St. hotel Lawrence. is this? This is Divi South Winds. So that's Divi South this Winds. Is South Winds, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is St. Lawrence. This is St. Lawrence. Lawrence and, yeah. and tell me something, you told me you're a historian. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So so have you got your degree in history? No, I Or are you a I've... fake historian? I won't say a fake, but it's <laughs> <laughs> So so come on, tell me about St. Who is St. Lawrence? I'm testing you now, man. These, these places were named after people. Of course, but who was St. Lawrence? I don't know who was St. Oh Lawrence. Oh my word. You know? I thought he was a historian. Yeah, but I never researched. There's so much places in Barbados. No, but you if, if, if you could... But most of these places were owned by plantations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, understand? Yeah. So the names came... Uh, what, what's this place coming up where we... We're still in St. Lawrence. Oh, then. No, but yeah. tell me about this place here on the left, man. People oh, need to okay. know. This is so you can go slow when you St. Lawrence Gap. See, St. this is the Gap. Look, 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 look. This is the Gap. We're now at the Gap. The Gap. The Gap. The Gap. The activity place. The activity place. The Gap. The Gap. My third recommendation for you is Oysters. And anyone who goes to Barbados has heard of Oysters. Just watch this video. Oysters, you can get your fresh fish, your grilled fish, you can get your macaroni pie, your chicken, your rice and peas. It isn't just on a Friday night. Oyston is on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night is the big night where everyone from the island, all the tourists, they all come down to Oysters and they all have fun and they all enjoy themselves. They get their rum punch, their Banks beer, they get everything that's on offer. My fourth recommendation concerning why you should book a holiday to Barbados is the party in and the karaoke. We all know about St. Lawrence Gap. We've got the boat yards. We've got some amazing places in Barbados and I'm recommending you should go there. And there's also a special place for those of you who like karaoke.
karaoke can be found at Dover Beach and Dover Beach, I don't mean Dover in England, I'm talking Dover in Christchurch, Barbados. So if you want to go and have some fun, if you want to sing, if you want to have a laugh, go to Dover Beach for your karaoke on a Sunday night. My fifth recommendation to you is, I'm not going to say nothing. What I'm going to do, watch this video and listen to a young lady who I met in November at Oysters. Just listen to what she has to say. Tell me what's beautiful about this country. <laughs> It's nice and warm, uh -huh. people are very friendly, uh -huh. and I feel safe here. Do you know something? It's amazing the amount of people, and I didn't answer that question, who mentioned the safety. And as a lady, how important is that to you? Extremely important. Uh, uh, and and you, do you find the locals here are friendly? You can have a laughing joke? Yes, very friendly. This young lady who I had never met before mentioned about the friendliness in Barbados and the safety friendliness and safety and that is so important and that is my fifth recommendation of why you should go to Barbados my sixth and final recommendation is that Barbados is a clean beautiful location no one's gonna go on holiday where it's dirty Barbados is clean that's why we want you to go. That's why I'm making the recommendation. Hey, everybody all over the world, like, this is going to and here. Ding, ding, ding. Come in, come over. No, of yeah. course I'm going to be encouraging others to come over. And what's your funny name again? So I'm not twisting. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. And how can I? Huh? 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 to come here. You love Rihanna. But tell me something, yeah, tell me something. You, you like her tunes, yeah? Yeah, sing me one of them. Sing me one. Under my Subscribe, comment, and hit the thumbs.